I'm Patrick Bailey with whiteboardcoder.com. Today is July 14th, 2020. And in this video, I'm going to be running a wire from my crawl space to my backyard, all underground, so that I can have an outlet, an outside outlet, near my back fence so I can install, so I can plug in Christmas lights. This summer, we were working on our backyard. We had a house built last year, and it came with a dirt backyard. They had to go landscape ourselves. So this summer, we're doing a lot of landscaping. And as part of this, we decided to put in two outlet boxes in the backyard. One on each, not the corner of the fence, but near the side for a few reasons. One, we can poke in Christmas lights, and so then we can put those on the back fence and a few different things like that. Also, on this outlet junction box, we're also putting Ethernet. Um, for a few reasons, like we might want to do some cameras or things like that back there, but that's going to be for another video. This video is about power. So what we're doing right now is we're going to put that box back there and then route the cable underground into our crawl space. And then for the moment, we're not going to hook it into our power right now. We're going to make it a glorified extension cord. But at some point, we'll probably come back and uh, turn it into, plug it into our 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 system at some point. But for right now, it's going to be a glorified extension cord, but properly buried, properly put in our house so that uh, down the line, I can hook it into my into my power. So with that, before we get into it, I want to go over a few things. One is a really good video out here for people who know a lot better than me. And it's by this Ask This Old House, How to Run gra Underground Wiring to a Garage. I would suggest go watching this video, and I'll put a link in the show notes. And then the next thing I want to go over is all the stuff I have bought. Uh, so what I have is one, I have this pipe cutter. I love this pipe cutter. It's really nice because we'll have to cut uh, at least one PVC pipe for this. Um, and then also the wiring. So you can get underground wiring that you can bury. Now, what I did for this project, I had an idea, but I've abandoned it. I got a 12.3 uh, that I bought at Home Depot. And see this one, if you look at it, it's got four wires. You only need three. So I changed my idea. I abandoned that idea, but I already bought it. So I'm just using it. So you don't need this one. You can just get a 12.2. And with that, depending on how much, how far you're going, you can get 100 feet or 250 feet. I've got 250 feet, so I, I spent a little bit more than I probably should have. But then with that, I also, because I'm going to be putting in internet, Ethernet and power, I went with this two-gang proof box, two-gang weatherproof box. And then I got this weatherproof cover for it. And then I have the terminal adapters on the, on the outside that screw in. And then I have three-quarter inch PVC pipe, just a little bit of it. I don't think I think I only need one piece for this in particular because I'm burying the cable. And then I believe I have three 90-degree bins I bought for this. And then of course some you know standard wire connectors. I got some red and yellow. I already had them, but I bought some more. And then for the end, since I'm making a glorified extension cord, I went and bought this to plug into the end to connect it to to finish off the extension cord. And then uh, some three-quarter inch galvanized tube so I can attach it uh, to the post I put out there. And then also, I'm not going to go over too much in this video, but for me, I had to do drill a hole in the wall. And so to put in that three quarter inch pipe into my wall, I had to get this one and one eighth hole dozer and drill into my wall from the outside. And it was a bit rough. So I had a hammer drill and I have a, you know, I had a concrete mortar right there. So it took a little, I didn't go through concrete, but I had mortar and go through the wall. It took a little bit to get through it, but that's the one I used. And I also had a, a kit there. So all in all, not, not counting the drill bits, I spent about $250 to get this all done. And that gives me more than enough wiring. Uh, in this case, that gives me more than enough wiring for both um, both that I did. So you could probably you know cut this down a bit compared to what I'm paying, depending on what you need. Um, but with that, let's um, go do it. Okay, so the first thing I did was I, I, I drilled a hole into my house. So I went and examined, this is into my crawl space. I went and examined, make sure I wasn't gonna hit any wires, did a lot of testing. I had some pictures of when the house was really built. And I knew there were no wires here. So what I did is I got this three quarter inch pipe, like I mentioned before, and this is one and one eighth. <laughs> and for me to drill through this, um, I'm not drilling through the rock, but I am drilling through the grout. It was just, it killed these poor suckers. So I wore these down to the nub. So I did a, I did a number on them. But what I'd suggest if you're like me and you have to do something, if you're like me, this wall is rather thick. So what I did, is I first drilled a pilot hole, knowing that I couldn't go all the way through with this from the other side. That way the line, they would match up from both sides. So this one, it took me a long time to go through it, but I finally did get through it. And then I took that pipe, cut it to probably about, you know, two foot length, and then shoved it through. And now I have this on this end. And then for this purpose, I got my 90 degree, I got another cut pipe, my other 90 degree, and here, down here, is my current uh, electrical that I have to my other guy. And so I'm going to go route the other one and go through the same pipe and shove it through. So with that, 
Let's go hook it up on the other side here. Okay, so this is where I intend to put this one. The other one's on the other side of my yard. So what I have done temporarily is I just pounded this one. I cut a board with it in and put this in like a stake where I want it to be. I'm going to replace it with something nicer, but this is temporary. So what I have here, I got my outlet. I got my GFC I'm going to put in here eventually. I got my outlet here, and I've already put covered all the five holes of the two on the bottom. Because I am going to use one for Ethernet. And so then I got this guy. There's my piece of my pipe that I cut from the larger one and 180 degree angle. And so if I put this up here, I do have, I need to cut this just a little shorter than what I did. So I got my pipe cutter, which I like a lot. I'll just cut a little bit off. That's one of my favorite tools so far. So put that in, get this in, then I have these galvanized pieces, and I'm just going to get some deck screws and screw that in for now, knowing that I'm probably going to replace it with something else at some point, but for now, I'll have it connected up. I'm not doing a pretty job here, I'm just getting it so it's in, I'll do a pretty job later. Okay, Okay. Uh, that pulled through just fine, now is the fun part, and there's some, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably do a bad job of this, so there's, there's some videos out there showing you better how to strip this, the only thing is it's, it's just hard. Uh, so I got no real good technique, I'm just going to use these really heavy duty scissors to kind of cut these little bit apart because what we have is inside of here we have four wires. In this case we have four wires. I over, You don't need four wires, you need three. I kind of overkilled it. But the thing is the wire, we don't want to cut the wire inside. See like there's the white wire. So I don't want to cut this until I mean to. But I got a long stretch here so on purpose, because I figure, compared to electricians doing all this time, all this, all the time, I'm going to do a poor job. In fact, it's probably a, might be a good idea to do, with, do this with the gloves, because I think it's going to be a little on the rough side trying to get this apart. Here's, she's asking what's the gray stuff. The gray stuff is just for waterproofing so you can put it in the ground, really. So it's really encasing the encasing. So. You will eventually cut that off that you just peeled off. Oh, yes, I'm going to cut that off, yeah. So, yeah, the gray stuff at here, oh. don't need it. Just cut it away when it's done. And And I've got a red here. Yeah, like I mentioned in the first part of my video, I had a thought at one point what I was going to do, and I changed my mind, so I... You don't need four wires for what I'm doing. You need three. Um, so you can buy a cheaper version that only has three, and that would have been fine. It's just I had an idea that I've since changed my mind, so I don't need the four, but I already bought it, so I was like, well, okay, I'll just use it. Which one do you not need? <laughs> well, technically, technically they're just copper wires, so you could actually wire it up any way you want. It would be the wrong way, and you get in trouble with like, with uh, the folks, but, um, you know, okay. copper is ground. Yeah, she's, in case you didn't get on the video, she was asking which, which of these I don't need. Well, Technically, I could use any one I want as long as I match them on the other side. But copper is ground. You know, my white is my uh, my white is my uh, neutral. You know, um, and then you can uh, well, you know, you can choose red or black if you want for your for your hot end. So, so now that I got that all almost cleaned up. So what I'm going to do. I'll leave my red for hot. 
And so I'm just not going to use my black one. So what I'm going to do in that case, I'm just going to cut my black one. And kind of roll it back. Yeah, once you wire it, well, you're supposed to wire it a certain way, and once you wire it a certain way, you got to keep it consistent. Otherwise, you're going to confuse everyone. Because if you start using your... Um, <clears throat> if you start using your ground for your hot, you're going to... people are going to get confused with what you did, even though it technically works. The next guy come in, comes in, and yeah, that's why there are rules on how you do this. Okay, so... What I'm going to do now, come in here, we'll cut these right about here, and I'm going to strip them, then I got my GFCI here, and if you for convenience sake, they do a lot of stuff to make this really easy. So on the back here, on one side it says white for this guy, but also if you get close up, you can see this is silver, and on the other side it's black. And it also says hot, and on the bottom they have a green, which is ground. So they do all that stuff to really make it uh, really apparent what you need to do. So as much as they can, they try to make it idiot proof, but. As they say sometimes, once you make something idiot proof, they make a new kind of idiot. Okay, so now I've got it all connected up. So I've got the red on the hot, the white over here, and there we got the ground. Now one thing I have seen people do, and this is a little overkill, you don't have to do this, but I have seen some people electric tape around this. Only reason they being is if somebody dumb enough to take this out and it's still alive and then they touch this like this. So it's, uh, it's a little overkill. But hey, come over here, might as well do it. Right. Then comes the fun part. I've got to get that the way I want it and i got to jam everything back up in here, which is fun. different attachments in here so you can a couple of different things. I have this set up like this because I'm going to put the heat in there later. Fun maneuver to do all the things at one time. Some protection from the water. There we go. Now this is a little loose, but I will be replacing this whole thing. <laughs> okay, so now I'm, I've already had one wired up before, so now I'm trying to connect them. And so the easiest thing I thought, found was to take this all apart and then route it section by section, so which is a pain in the butt. But it is working because this is probably barely enough to fit these two through. So I'm just going bit by bit, slowly. And I already got through this section, I'll get through this one, and I'll get through this one finally inside, and then we'll go wire it up inside. Okay, so my idea of pulling the second cable through was a bad plan because there's in this three-quarter inch pipe, there's just not enough room. So what I had to do is I had to 
pull everything back out, even from my wall. And I had to put all the cables together. Then I had to go work them like that and get them straightened up. Otherwise, it was just not going to pull through. So now what I'm doing is I'm working from the end. And I'm going really slow. And I'm just doing bit by bit. And these have to be twisted like that. Otherwise, it's just too tight of a space. But if you twist them, it seems to be going through just fine. So I'm just going down and moving. You know, moving a few inches and then going and getting the next piece. And see, it's it's going through just fine through all these. So I think it's going to work just fine. It's just they got to be nice and flat together. Otherwise, it's not. It's just too tight. Okay, I'm in my crawl space. I've already got one of them hooked up and plugged in, and this one's working. And so eventually, I'm going to tie this into my in my home. But for right now, I'm just turning it to a glorified extension cord, like I said, probably many times. So first, I got to strip these. So. The black one I'm not using, so I'm just sticking that one back and I'll tape it up here in a second. And so we'll get some red here, the hot. And the neutral on the ground, there we go. And then here's this one, I stripped this back a little bit on this guy. But this one, hmm? this is the extension cord I bought. Now the fun thing on here is we got green, which is the ground, but the other two aren't marked with any color specifically. Uh, so if you go on the Home Depot site that I was on and you see some Q&A questions, uh, they do in some way indicate which one is neutral and which one is hot. So I don't know if I can get a good shot of this, but I need some more film. If you see one side is ribbed, the other side smooth on the outside. All right, hold on. Do that again without moving. Cause okay, so on this side, on the outside, it's of ribbed. The green. Of, yeah, the green is the green. The gray. The gray, but the gray is ribbed, and you can feel it. If you get here, you can feel it's got ridges. Okay. That is the neutral, the white. Okay. The other one that has nothing, oh. that's the hot. Okay. And that's on the extension cord. And that's on the extension cord. So I had to go, I didn't know that, I had to go find that out on, um, somebody posted a question on, on the Home Depot site, and they answered that. So now, I'll just take some of these. And of course, the bare one here is neutral, so I'll do green to green. And I'll just wrap it around. And then I got some of these. Get that on there real good. And then the ribbed one is neutral. So over here to the neutral. And wrap that around. And then overkill it, right? And then... This one's the hot. Which is the smooth side. Which is the smooth side. Red. Yep, put the red on to indicate the hot. And then just to cover my butt, I like to tape a few things up. So this black one is, in my case, I got the extra on. Hopefully you didn't do what I did. I had a weird plan that didn't pan out. So I'm just gonna overkill that one, just kind of tape it up to say I'm not doing anything with it. And we should be good, but I'm going to tape this up a little bit just in case a kiddo gets in the crawl space and accidentally touches something. But normally these aren't going to, the way, because we're just doing for Christmas lights, these normally won't be plugged in until I really tie them into the whole house. I'm not going to do that for who knows how long. Okay, calling that good. Yep. Except for the, you know, the ground's naked, but that's a different story. So, now I'm just going to go plug this in and go outside. I have an extension cord here to test it. So now I'm going to go outside and see if it's working. Okay, final test. I already test the other one. It's good. And I got it plugged in. And let's see if this shows up on screen in the daylight. Gone. Now one thing, if you're doing this, if you're not familiar with GFCIs, there's a chance it might have been tripped. There's a button to reset it. So I'm gonna go trip it here with this. There's a trip button. So now it's tripped. So now it's not on. There's a reset button. And so if it doesn't come on, you may you may have. So it was set. See. So just in case you want to check that if you're doing that. So last thing I gotta do is do a little caulking work. Okay. Last little bit is I gotta caulk it. So this is going to my house. There's that danger of 
moisture getting back in there. So I'm probably not going to do a beautiful job on here, but get it cocked up and smooth over here. Beautiful job. Okay, probably clean that up a little bit, but I'll pretty much call that good and now I'm ready for Christmas. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a like. To subscribe, just click the subscribe button. Also, you can follow me on Twitter under the handle at whiteboardcoder.com. View any code I may have thrown up as a gist uh, at GitHub under the username Patman Denver, or check out my blog site at whiteboardcoder.com.